Welcome, everyone. Well, we're ending up September, and if we look outside, we see the the beauty of the autumn, um, trees and colors and everything. Okay, welcome. It's Sandra Alexei, and I welcome you today. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the um, the uh, cosmos and what the messages are and all of the planetary shifts and movements and it's a very very big month okay first of all i am a muse i'm an educator i'm an author um i was a spa consultant i've done a lot of different a lot of different things um i'm a self-discovery coach and I use astrology and other self-discovery tools to assist people in finding out more about themselves, what their purpose, what their gift is. We can look at past life. We can look at karma, a lot of different things. So what you could do is you can go into the show me section underneath here and you'll see my website, mypersonalmuse.com. And Everything I do, all the services I are offered are there. Also, a portfolio of all the work that I have done. And another thing is there is a, um, what was I going to say? There's a, on, oh, at the bottom of, of the first page, there's a copy of all my different books that I've done. The latest book that I've done is called Game Changer and it's an it's um, an Aquarian, uh, a new model of relationships, very Aquarian energy. And if you look to the top here of the YouTube channel, you can see where you can order it on Amazon. It comes in audio, um, it comes in audio, ebook, soft cover, hardcover. Okay, they make great, great gifts. Now, I think I've covered everything. This is a very intense month coming up and I've done for today and I'm going to be doing some traveling. So I'm going to do all of these videos and then have them posted at different times for you so that you get time to be able to kind of sort your life out and see what's going on and that type of thing. Now, I'd really appreciate it if you would like. I'm trying to get my algorithms up. And if you, there should be a little button where you can press it. You can be notified when my videos are on when I put them on. And if you would comment, I'm, I do a draw once a month for somebody to get a free, um, a free mini reading. And I do a lot of readings and sessions on Zoom and interview people. If you have a special gift you want to tell me about, I can, I can share that too. And so if you like, if you share, if you comment, and if you subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Some people are having trouble subscribing to the plan, uh, channel. So if you can let me know, I'd appreciate it. And I'm trying to get that sorted through. Also trying to get sorted through the beginning of my videos because I can tend to be pretty expressive. So I can be scary at times. Anyway, let's go. Let's see what's happening. Okay. So there is going to, oh, and another thing on my Facebook page, you can always print off the post because a lot of people like to print it off so that they can see the different time frame and dates. So October 2023, an incredible, intense and powerful month with the eclipse season. Eclipses bring news of life's big events, major turning points. Something ends, something begins like walking over a bridge that collapses once you've crossed and you never go back. Changes can happen suddenly or occur over a period of months with each successive eclipse. Now, solar eclipses tend to create new beginnings and bright new opportunities, usually exciting, positive, and brings, out, brings news out of the blue. Lunar eclipses are more emotional as they cause final endings. They often make us aware of the passage of time, makes us sentiment make us sentimental each eclipse in the series has a theme so it's strung together like a necklace of pearls it can be a big or small event that changes everything a change of events that force you to th see things in in a new light and i've i've already done the two eclipses so i will have uh, posts put up of them and videos the job of the eclipse is to shine a glaring ray of truth to the part of your life that's being touched, and the truth will likely arrive in a startling way. It will reveal a truth 
it will reveal a truth about a condition. So be grateful for the truth. Very similar to a piece of a puzzle that's been missing, falls out of the sky, and this new information allows you to understand for the first time. You now have the full picture of the situation and can make an appraisal of what it means to you. You also now know what to do next. Today, we are going to explore the dramatic annular solar new eclipse at 21 degrees of Libra on October the 14th. And at the same time, the sun is at 20 degrees of Aries. They're always the opposite. The partner in April the 8th in 2024 is the total solar new eclipse at 19 degrees of Aries. This is how they follow the theme. See, it's the eclipse on October the 14th, 2023 is the fourth in an Aries Libra set of six eclipses and the third solar eclipse in the series. Its effects can be felt for up to six months after the exact date of the eclipse and even longer. I will have another post and video on the partial lunar full moon eclipse at five degrees of Taurus on October 28th. Eclipses work with the nodal axis and the moon placement. Eclipse energies again can last up for six months. And if you have a copy of your astrological natal chart, you can check which house or houses will be affected, showing the area of your life. You just look to see where the where the new main eclipse is at 19 degrees of Aries. So or what house is Aries on? New moons are all about new beginnings. And since this new moon is only three degrees from the south node in Libra, 24 degrees, it is intense and it is fated. This new moon has the themes of release, endings, and letting go as the new energy moves in. Libra is ruled by Venus, which is all about what? Relationships, beauty, self-worth, balance, harmony. Old habits, behaviors, and pattern patterns in relationships around compromising to please others are done. It either changes or ends. Enough is enough. You wake up one day and have changed. You have ascended and evolved to a higher frequency. So now you're like a 100 watt light bulb. And you just know what to do in love relationships, friend play, friendship, workplace, etc. Time to write out your new moon intentions. Now you have released the past. Some decide to sell, move, leave a job, etc. It is about loving oneself, honoring and clarifying and deciding what you want to experience for pleasure, fun, etc. Have you just been a slave to others? You're deciding what you are letting go of and what you want to embrace in your life. You take your power back. You only figured out you gave it away and now you have embraced your authenticity, sovereignty, and you are able to express your truth emotional honesty looking back you gave up so much and realized there's no guarantee of tomorrow tomorrow so decisions decisions on how you want to experience your life with more balance harmony peace and self-love fun delight and pleasure figuring out what you desire to do at this stage of your life now that you've changed what new wonderful experiences do you desire a checklist I want to try and I want to do and I want to have fun. You may surprise yourself. We will see dramatic changes in leaders and people in power in the world. Remember, the populist movement is taking its power back. No more compromising. You will start to contemplate, contemplate what you enjoy in life, what brings you pleasure and joy. And what talents do you have and you want to start utilizing? That's the big shift in how you feel about you and your life. You will be defining specific things to determine and establish stronger personal worth and value and respect. It's about time as we have been in drama, experiencing not knowing what's coming, anxiety, confusion, sadness, anger, and stress. So something ends as you embrace a very important part of yourself. So Venus ruling Libra, no compromising as you embrace integrity. Find a sense of balance and harmony wherein it must be a benefit for you. Then act on your insights and intuition. Embracing more authenticity, sovereignty, and stronger personal boundaries. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you so very much. And again, uh, you can uh, check underneath the website 
And if you look at the website, it shows the different services and everything that I offer. And uh, I do a lot of, of um, sessions on Zoom. So you actually have the recording. So I'd appreciate it. Number one, if you would like, if you would put a comment, you put your name in, I put your name in for the draw for a mini free mini reading. If you would share, if you would put the, press a little bell for notification, and if you would subscribe to the channel. Many blessings and much love, and thank you for taking your time.